welcome to my channel welcome to diy at blast so uh, i know i've been a little bit out for almost a month now um because i was on my vacation after so long so um i'll show you what i did on my vacation maybe for my next video but for this video i'm gonna show you how i paint this painting so go grab your canvas paint uh you can also paint on a water color paper and use a watercolor for that so are you ready if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you are if you like this video make sure you give a big big thumbs up all right so let me show you these are the color i'm gonna be using today i'm gonna be using a lot of colors for this painting so let me show you one by one i'm gonna use a lot of white for this painting and if you like to take a screenshot of um uh, the name of the colors you can do that this is just a regular green orange blue this is like light blue color here and i also have a darker blue all right um i have this green and i also have this light green so light green mint green and this type of green okay again you can take a screenshot of all of the colors name if you want to know that and if you don't have the color i'm using it's okay you can just use a regular color and if you want to make it darker lighter uh, it's up to you to get different shade make your own paint if you like own shade if you like and i'm gonna use this rose pink and yellow paint all right so these are the color i'm going to be using and these are two brushes i'm going to be using for now if i use any other brush i'll let you know as i go all right now i'm going to use this brush it's a natural bristles if you don't have this type of brush you can also use this type of a brush um, but i'm going to use this small brush today and this my favorite brush number zero size this is number zero and this is number six all right so let's start painting all right so now make sure you also grab a cup of water and a paper towel so i'm gonna start working on my background first and uh let me start working from the bottom to up so i'm gonna work i'm gonna start from bottom and i'm gonna work my way up all right so now I already shared a painting that I'm going to paint today so you get more idea because some people really suggest me to try doing that way so you know what you are painting. Alright, so I also will leave a little small picture on this video on the side of the video so you can see that. Alright, so now I'm going to again start from the bottom and then work my way up. Alright, so as you can see in that painting i added a nice dark color here so i'm gonna start with the darker color first as i go up i'm gonna make it nice and lighter and lighter all right so i'm gonna take a little water on my brush make sure it's just a little bit wet not don't take too much water and then i'm gonna use a darker color here that i have here i'm gonna i'm gonna start with the blue dark blue here so let me take that okay and this is how i'm gonna apply my brush strokes you can also use a very simple brush strokes if you like nice keep it nice and straight uh, left and right i'm gonna try a little different way today so i'm gonna apply my brush strokes like this if you're not comfortable doing this way you can also you know turn your canvas and then do it this way it will be much easier trust me but i'm gonna try this way all right so Make sure you take your darker blue color and start applying from the bottom. If you are painting on a canvas like me, you can also paint the edges if you like. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to work on my painting here. Now I'm going to make a lot of noise with this brush because I, whenever I use natural bristles, it really makes a lot of noise so now i like to work on my background a little bit quicker but you can always take your time i like to work on my background a little bit quicker because if i feel like if i want to make any area darker lighter it, 
makes it so much easy to do that because of your paint is still wet but um it's up to you you can go slow if you like now the next color i'm gonna use maybe a little bit of yellow here now because i have blue here it might turn a little bit greenish but it's okay that's what i'm going for and i'm just gonna take a little yellow and i'm not cleaning my brush for this part just gonna take a little yellow and i'm just gonna start applying right here i'm not touching my blue right now i'm just gonna take a little bit of water because it will be much easier to apply your paint okay do you see how green this looks now i'm gonna blend both of these colors by going on top of both of these colors like in between like that the more you go it's gonna blend more so don't be afraid to just apply your brush strokes like that i think this is nice and bland i don't want to go too many times on this bottom of this area because i want to keep that nice and dark i'm just gonna go very lightly one time maybe but not too many times okay that's good now i'm gonna just clean my brush here all right i'm gonna dry on my paper towel now i'm just gonna grab a little bit more yellow here just a little bit of more yellow now i'm gonna do the same thing like i did here i'm just gonna take a tiny bit of water and i'm just gonna apply it right here now this time do you see it looks yellow <laughs> but it will be it will turn lighter green in a second when we blend these two colors together all right now i'm gonna blend these two colors together just like i did down here going in between these two colors okay when you use a natural bristles you will get this type of brush on your painting but take it if you see that don't let it dry there okay so i'm gonna clean my brush so i'm gonna start with the light green here first so i'm just gonna take like tiny bit of uh, green and also white this time so let me show you i'm gonna take a little bit of white on one side of my brush tiny little green on the other side of my brush so again more white tiny bit of green all right now same thing i'm just gonna apply my paint here if you don't have this type of a green just add more white on your on your green and make it nice and light green okay I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take tiny bit of uh, green here, not too much. Okay, I'm just gonna blend these two colors together now. If you feel like it's hard for you to blend your colors, just add a little bit of more white on that area and tiny bit of water. That will help you to blend your colors together. right i like that all right i'm gonna clean my brush again i'm gonna move on to the different color i'm gonna use a light blue make sure you're clean and dry all right so I'm, again i'm gonna start with the light blue color and then i'm gonna add a little bit of dark blue and then i'm gonna add more <clears throat> more lighter color then all right so i'm gonna start again with the light blue here I'm just going to take like tiny bit of blue on my brush and same thing. Oops, I took too much water, but it's okay. I can fix that. Okay, I take uh, my paper towel and just kind of uh, done. Okay, it's nice and dry. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to go back, take a little bit more blue and uh, just apply a little bit here. 
Just gonna add like a tiny little line there. All right, I'm gonna blend these two colors together now. And to blend these colors together, I'm gonna take a little bit of white here. Just a little bit of white. Again, I'm just gonna go like that. Now it doesn't have to be too specific. It's okay if you add more blue or the more yellow or more white. Um, this is your painting, remember. This one has to be same as mine. All right, I'm gonna add some darker blue now. And I'm just gonna use the same blue that I use down here. Okay, same thing. I'm just gonna add a little line. Okay, and then I'm gonna blend these two colors together. I'm just gonna bring this lip blue a little bit more down here on this yellow area because I really don't wanna add too much yellow. I might go back on this area to add more blue there. But I'll do that later. I'm just going to bring this blue down here maybe a little bit. Like that, very lightly. As you can see, I'm not taking any more paint. I'm just blending it all together. Again, the more you go, it's going to blend nice and more. So don't be afraid to go very lightly one more time on that area. Okay, I'm going to add some light blue here now and I'm going to clean my brush because I don't want to make any green. I don't want to add any green here, so. <clears throat> okay, same thing. I'm just going to take my light blue and apply that here. Blend it all together. Okay. Right now, I'm just gonna also add some white here. Now, just a white paint and add, make this area nice and lighter and lighter. And slowly, I'm gonna keep adding white. I'm gonna go a little bit up here, cover all of this area. Now, I don't like this one color on this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of white also on that area. As you can see, I take like a tiny bit of paint here. And I'm just kind of going to add like a white streaks like this. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of blend on that area a little bit. Just maybe a little bit because I don't want to make the whole area one color that again. Alright, now I'm just going to clean my brush and I'm going to add one last color here. Alright, make sure it's nice and dry again. Alright, now I'm going to use a pink color. So I'm just going to take like tiny bit of pink here. This pink is really, really dark, so I'm just going to barely take any paint here. All right, and I'm just going to apply it here. Do you see how dark this is? So I'm going to add also a little bit of white with this pink. Maybe a little bit more pink. <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to apply it here first. Okay. And slowly, I'm going to blend my blue and the pink together, like that. <clears throat> okay, I like to make this area a little bit more darker, just this top area here. I'm taking a tiny bit of pink and just adding it on this area here. Okay. All 
right, I'm all done. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit more blue area. I mean blue on this area. So let me clean my brush here. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this um, blue and I'm just gonna add more dark blue here. And also on this green area, a little bit blue there. Just making it nice and dark and I'm just gonna add a little bit of yellow just to make it slightly a little bit lighter and this time I'm not gonna blend too much very like lightly brushing this area so i'm using my brush this way and brushing it like this like i know it's hard to see but this is what i'm doing all right i'm gonna clean my brush and i'm gonna add a little bit of white now okay so just maybe a little bit of white same thing on this area This is all I'm going to do. All I, I'm done with my background. Now I'm just going to let this dry maybe a little bit. And uh, I'm also going to go back on my blue on the sky. And I'm going to add a little bit more blue there. Just maybe darker blue. Right here. hard to do it with the one hand because I'm, I'm using a smaller canvas okay okay I think I like that all right so now I'm just gonna let this dry a little bit and then I can start adding some uh, more details here all right so now you have some time if you want to do some edges on your painting and once it's dry we can try we can start adding some details again so i'm gonna go ahead and start adding what i'm talking about so i'm done with my big brush make sure you clean it dry so you can use this brush next time so what i like to do after i'm done is i i like to just clean it nicely dry it and make sure you smooth out like your bristles like that so that it stays straight <laughs> all right and let's start adding some stems so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use all of these colors and uh you don't have to really use a green color for the stems i mean i'm painting an abstract painting and you don't have to use the the real colors Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the green color first and then I'm going to add any uh, the other colors I have here. So uh, make sure you take your small brush, your smallest brush, take a little water, clean it, dry it. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a whole bunch of lines for the stems. Alright, so. And also for some grass. Now I'm gonna I like to go a little crazy for this part, I wanna say. Alright, so I'm gonna add two nice big um dandelion here. So I'm gonna start adding some 
grasses first and then I'll add a stem for my dandelion. All right, now, uh, I'm just gonna start from top, bring it down. Uh, however, you are comfortable adding this type of a line. Now, it doesn't has to be perfectly straight line. You can also add a, some line that's crossing like that. Now, I know it's hard to see sometime on a black, on dark color. I mean, it's hard to see the darker color on dark area, but I am adding this line. Okay, so some of them are like short. Some of them are like a little curvy, you can say. Okay, so I'm just gonna add green. You can start from top, you can start from bottom. What I like to do is take a little paint and just go like this. Add a line from top to bottom and then go up. That way you will have a lot of line filled with this line on this area. Okay. Now I'm not really covering all of the area as long as you see some green here. You're good. All right. I'm also going to add some little taller line. So let's say maybe something like this. Now I like to also use a drop of water whenever I'm making a little bit long line. It helps to just add a nice long line without stopping if you're concerned about that. Okay, now the next color I'm going to use is a light green color. So I already have this light green, so I'm going to use that. If you don't have it, you can you just have to mix your, your white and green paint. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, guys. I cannot talk today because uh, I'm a little sick. So hopefully I'll be fine in a couple days. Okay, so I'm going to use this light green. Um, now, for this color... I'm not gonna go too crazy like my darker green because it's hard to see this green color here but you will be easily uh, able to see this light green so let me add a couple of them do you see the difference so now I'm just gonna add this type of a line again I'm not going too crazy but I am adding some lines some again taller lines smaller line so uh the next video again i'm gonna make i mean i already made a video for you guys because i really wanted to share where i've been this was my first trip after covid so it was a lot of fun and i thought of you know, just sharing that with you. So I'm going to have to edit that video for you and uh, I'll post it next time whenever I have chance. But I'm done with this color now. Next color I'm going to use is orange. Yes, I'm going to use an orange. So I clean my brush. And uh, again, I like to use a little bit of water. The paint I'm using, these are really, really thin. I mean, thick paint. It's a really good quality. I. Uh, it's from. Oh, Hippie Crafter. Oh, it's here. <laughs> it's from Hippie Crafter. I'm um, I'm using this paint for very long, and it's. It goes a really long way. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my orange. Same thing this time again. I'm gonna add. A little bit less than what I did last time even. So, um, yeah, something like this. Okay, I really want to add one. Uh, let's say one orange line for one dandelion. So, uh, let's say what I'm going to do is uh, 
I'm gonna add my one dandelion, maybe right here, nice and big one. And uh, my stamps is starting from here. And coming all the way down for that. So that's my first dandelion stem. Okay. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. Next color I'm going to use is, uh, let's see. I'm just going to make this a little bit darker so it's easy to see. Okay. <clears throat> the next color I'm, uh, color I'm going to use is yellow. So let me grab a little bit more yellow here. Okay. So same thing I'm going to do again. Just going to add a whole bunch of lines for the grass, some some stems don't forget to just you know cross your lines you don't have to use only one at one um, angle and you don't have to really add a long line to be honest you can just add a line and just you know something like this Right, uh, I'm just gonna add maybe a couple more. Okay, maybe I have some more dandelion on this area, and maybe some of them are here. So, do you see how I'm adding my lines? doesn't have to be like too perfect okay now I'm gonna use a pink color so let me clean my brush again and I'm just gonna add some pink stems now right now I'm gonna add a nice big uh, line for my second dandelion and that is um, let's say this is a big one here I'm going to add another big one, maybe right here. So there is going to be my second dandelion here. Now I'm making my line nice and thick. And then coming all the way down. Okay, I'm also going to add some other stems here. Same thing again, like I did with my yellow last time. I'm just gonna go back with some more yellow and then I'm almost done <clears throat> okay all right now I'm gonna start adding some dandelion here okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is add the center of the dandelion and for that I'm gonna use my pink color here so I'm going to use my pink and I'm just going to add, let's see, this is the center here. So I'm just going to add a little circle on this area. I just want to make it light pink, kind of, as long as you see a little color here. You can also use any other color if you like. You don't have to use a pink, but I'm going to use pink here. I'm not making it too dark but uh, just maybe a little bit 
color you can see here. Okay, I'm just gonna smooth out the edges because I don't want any sharp edges here. So as you can see, to smooth out the color, I'm not taking too much paint. Let me show you one more time. I'm gonna take a little bit pink and uh, my this next dandelion is on this pink uh, line here. So I'm just gonna add a little circle with the pink. I'm not taking any more paint. I'm just kind of uh, brushing out the edges like that to make that area not too sharp. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do here. Now, um, if you like to let it let this dry, you can do that. But I'm gonna add some more dandelion here, so I'm gonna add more pink for other dandelions. So let's see, maybe I'm gonna add a small little one right here. Small little one here. You can also use your finger to smooth out the edges if you like. If you don't want to use your brush, it will be easier. It will be easier too. Okay, I'm gonna also add one more maybe here. So only these are the two that are nice and big but the other ones are the small ones okay i'm also gonna make this one a little bit smaller here this one too Okay, I'm going to work with the smaller one first and then I'll work on the big one because uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to have to overlap this big one on the small ones. So, this is also a small one here. Okay, that's all I'm going to do here. Now, if I feel like I'll add more later, but for now, I think this is good enough. All right. And I'm just gonna clean my brush and I'm gonna use a lot of white here now. All right, so now to add this uh, type of a dandelion, it's it's really easy. Let me show you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a whole bunch of white color. So let me start with uh, <clears throat> with this one right here. Okay, so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding some lines starting from the center of this pink color. So something like this. Again, this is nice and small. So I'm not too worried about the shape. But as long as, as, long as it's round, you're good. Okay, my white is not that thick, it's kind of a little thinner side. So once my this area is dry, you will be easily able to see my pink here. So if your white is not thin like mine, you can let this area dry. You can also add a little bit of more pink later. I might also have to do that, but if I have to, I'll let you know how to do that. I'm almost done with this one so I'm done with that I'm gonna just keep adding more and more and I'm just gonna work on my small ones I'm just gonna add a nice big square first and almost filling that area And it's okay if you grab a little bit of other color if everything is still wet, that's fine. It doesn't have to be one color.
okay and uh, after i'm done with this area what i like to do is just take a little bit of more white and just kind of add a little dot around it like that just on the edges area Same thing I'm going to do with this one too here. Because this is small, I'm going to use a tiny layer dot. <clears throat> I'm going to make a tiny layer dot. Okay. Let's do the same thing with all other um, flowers or dandelion here. I like to turn my canvas so that it's easy for me to do this part. I'm, I'm done with the small ones now i'm gonna work on these big ones now so same thing i'm gonna do but a little bit longer a little bit of longer line so uh, i'm just gonna i like to start with the square first uh square line like that a plus sign i mean a plus sign i don't know why i said square uh, nice big lines like this and i'm gonna do the same thing um, something like this i'm just gonna use my brush very lightly and just use the tip of my brush trying to keep it as round as possible Now I have this dandelion, so I'm just going to overlap that.
okay and then i'm just gonna add a whole bunch of dots this time i'm also gonna add a dots uh, in this area too so let me show you i'm just gonna add a dot around these edges first like this and i'm also gonna add the dots inside of this area too once it's dry it will be easier to see but sometimes um, because of the white it's okay if you don't see all of the dots now i'm trying not to go into too much detail but sometimes i just i just say that but you can also ignore that <laughs> okay so um again i'm just gonna also add some dots in this area okay perfect so that's all i'm gonna do with that now i'm gonna add my last one here same thing maybe this is a little bit smaller than this one so same thing i'm just gonna add a nice plus sign and you can also add an x then if you like if you feel like it's hard for you to do the perfect round and then just fill all of the inside area here Perfect. I'm just gonna add dots last time. okay perfect all right now one last thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna do is add a little bit of pink all right so i clean my brush here and just gonna add a little bit of white on my pink because i don't want to make it too dark pink this time okay and uh, i'm gonna do the same thing but i'm gonna add very less line so let me show you i'm gonna add some some pink line like this starting from the center just some of them like only in the center area so you can also see the center of this dandelion okay so i'm gonna do this with all of my uh, dandelion i have here i'm not going uh, i'm not really adding a lot of line and a lot of details here as long as you see a little pink in that sun on that center area uh, i think i'm good that's all i want to do
Okay. That's all I'm going to do. If you feel like you apply too much pink, uh, you can always go over with some more white if you like. Um, but that's all I'm going to do with this dandelion. Now, I want to also add one flower here. So let me clean my brush. And to add the flowers, I'm going to use my same brush actually. All right, now I'm going to use my yellow color here for the flowers. So um, let me just make sure my paint is mixed well and it will be much easier to apply this flower all right now these flowers are nice tiny little flower so i'm gonna take my paint on my brush and uh, i'm gonna add this type of a flower just keeping it very simple i'm just gonna add this type of a little line that's my flower okay I'm just going to make it a little bit more longer, maybe. Okay, I'm just going to add a whole bunch of flowers like that. I'm going to leave a little space for another flower. I'm also going to use a little bit of uh, a different color here. I'll show you which one in a second. Now, you don't have to make all of the flowers like looking at one direction. I'm also going to add a flower like that, looking at the other direction, facing on the other direction. Now, I'm not really worried about the stems right now. I'll add the stems if I feel like I want to. Okay, I have some more flowers on top of this area here. <clears throat> okay I think I like that. All right, now I'm going to add one more flower here. And I'm going to use, let's say, orange. Okay, now I'm not going to use this orange. I'm going to make my orange a little bit lighter. All right, so I'm going to mix my white. And orange. It's up to you how dark, how light you want your flower. I'm going to make it nice and light. I think I like this color. Okay. Same thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a nice big chunk of paint. And just um, placing wherever I feel like I want to add my flower. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to clean my brush and I'll add some stems on some flower. I don't have to worry about all of the flower because... Um, let me show you one thing. Um, as you can see, this flower already have a stem. This flower already have a stem. This one also have a stem. So I'm only going to add on some of them. So let's see, maybe for this one here. For this one right there. For this green flower here I mean oh yellow this one yellow flower here okay I think maybe for this one okay not worry about the other ones now all right now one more thing I, I, I like to do here is add white flower so let me clean my brush and I'm also going to do the same thing. But this time I'm going to add a slightly different type of a flower. So I'm going to take my white paint. And uh, just 
she said, this type of flower, so something like, oopsie, don't take too much water like me. I always do that. Okay. Right? So something like these, just maybe four petals is good enough. Just trying to fill all of this area nice here. Uh, nice flower here. Just keeping it nice and very simple to be honest here. You can add all, a lot of different type of flower if you like. You don't have to really add a flower that I'm adding here. Okay, some of them are nice and big, some of them are like tiny little flower. I'm also gonna add a lot of kind of little dot, you can say, like that. Just picking one spot and adding four or five dots there. Okay, and maybe some right here. Okay. All right, now you can also step back a little bit, see if you want to add more flowers, but that's all I'm going to do. This is not so really, this area is kind of a little windy, so I'm going to also add some dots right here. I'm just using a white paint. Okay, I'd like to also add a, maybe a couple dots on the pink area here. Perfect. I like that. Alright, now, one last thing I'm going to do is add a little shadow or, um, you know, one more color on my bigger stems. And I'm going to use, let's see, um, this green color I have. Okay. And... Uh, just gonna add a little line next to this orange i mean on top of this orange so just pick one side i'm just gonna add a line on the right side so something like this same thing i'm gonna do with this pink one here okay i'm almost done okay and I'm also gonna go over with that some orange. Okay, all right. Um, one more thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little touch of this orange on my yellow flowers. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of um, this lighter yellow, maybe like this on this flower. Just like one or two line, one line maybe. Okay, and I'm also going to use orange on the lighter orange. So I'm just going to take this plain orange and just basically adding a line on one side. Okay, perfect. All right, one last thing is I'm going to add the center of the flower for the for the white flower. So I'm going to use, let's say I'm going to use orange. Okay, um, you can use lighter, darker, um, it's up to you. And I'm just going to basically add a tiny little dot on the center of this white flower.
Okay, there you go. I'm all done. Now, don't forget to sign your painting. Um, remember, this is your painting. You made it. You don't really have to worry about anyone else, what they say about your painting. It's you. If you like it, that's great. And even if you don't like it, it's okay. The more you do it, the, m the more better you're going to get. So, just keep doing and you will be amazed to see what you can paint and what you can you know draw so yeah um it's always very nice to paint with you guys and again if you like this video make sure you give a big big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you are new here so yeah i hope you like this painting and i will see you next time for maybe another painting or any other diy because i'm waiting for the summer so i can work outside now uh but yeah all right i'll see you next time bye